and welcome to this session. Understanding seven segment displays is key for anyone working with embedded systems or electronic circuits and displays. We'll be covering the fundamentals of how these LED displays work so you can leverage them properly in your own projects for clear digital displays and readouts. Objectives. At the end of this session, you will be able to demonstrate and test the common anode and common cathode of seven segment LED display. Seven segment LED display. The most commonly used semiconductor is the light emitting diode LED, which produces either visible light or invisible infrared light when it is forward biased. Invisible light is emitted by devices like remote controls. A light emitting diode converts optical electrical energy into a light energy upon the application of voltage. The seven segment displays serve as the output display devices, offering a method to exhibit information through images, text or decimal numbers. This provides an alternative to the more intricate dot matrix displays. These displays are extensively used in digital clocks, elementary calculators, electronic meters and other electronic gadgets that present numerical data. They comprise seven segments of light emitting diodes LEDs arranged to form the number 8 and decimal point LED. A seven segment display is made up of seven illuminating segments positioned as shown. The segments typically employ light emitting diodes made from gallium arsenide or phosphide. Known also as seven segment LED display devices, they function at low voltage and power, allowing them to be directly connected to integrated circuits. The segments in these display devices are labeled as A, B, C, D, E, F and G. The numeric digits 0 to 9 can be represented by illuminating the appropriate segments as illustrated in the figure by the darkened segments. Working of 7 segment displays The numerical 8 appears when all segments receive power. However, cutting power to segment G changes the display to the numerical 0. In a 7 segment display, simultaneously applying power or voltage to various pins allows for the creation of combinations to display numbers from 0 to 9. Since 7 segment displays are incapable of forming alphabets like X and Z, their use is limited to displaying decimal numbers rather than alphabetic characters. Nevertheless, 7 segment displays can create the alphabets A, B, C, D, E and F, making them suitable for representing these characters with each display unit typically featuring a dot point DP. This dot point can be positioned either to the left or the right of the display pattern. Such a pattern is useful for displaying numerals ranging from 0 to 9 and letters from A to F, representing hexadecimal digits. A truth table can be created for each decimal digit. Based on that, we can determine the Boolean expressions for each decimal digit indicating whether the corresponding light emitting diodes should be on or off. Therefore, Boolean expressions for each decimal digit that requires respective light emitting diodes are on or off. The number of segments activated for the digits 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 and 9 are 6, 2, 5, 5, 4, 5, 6, 3, 7 and 6 respectively. Types of 7 segment displays There are two types of 7 segment LED display devices common cathode and common anode. In a common cathode 7 segment display, all cathodes negative terminals of the light emitting diodes are connected to a common terminal and the common terminal is connected to the ground. Positive terminals are open for connections. To display a digit or number, Positive voltage is applied selectively for the anodes, positive terminals of the LEDs, causing the desired segments to light up. Example, when positive voltage is given to pin A, an LED A will glow and the rest will be off. In a common anode 7 segment display, all anodes positive terminals of the light emitting diodes 
are interconnected and connected to a positive voltage source. Negative terminals are open for connection. To represent a digit or number, the cathode's negative terminals of specific LEDs are selectively connected to a lower voltage or ground, enabling the required segments to illuminate. For example, when the cathode of LED A is connected to a lower voltage or ground, LED A will illuminate while the others remain off. Common anode 7 segment displays are preferred over cathode ones because logic circuits can handle more current when drawing it in than when sending it out. This is similar to connecting LEDs in the opposite way. Test common anode and cathode 7 segment LED display. Let us now look at the tools and materials needed. For this procedure, we will need a digital multimeter with probes. The materials we will need are 7 segment LED common anode 1 number, 7 segment LED common cathode 1 number. Let us now see the procedure. Step 1 Identify display type using data book. Start by consulting the data book to determine whether the given 7 segment LED display is common anode or common cathode. This crucial step ensures compatibility with the subsequent testing procedures. Step 2 Pin Configuration Analysis Confirm that the 7 segment LED display has a total of 10 pins. Among these, 7 pins correspond to the individual segments, 2 pins are designated as common pins and 1 pin is dedicated to the dot. Clearly identify and mark these pins for accurate testing. Step 3. Segment Verification with Multimeter Utilize a multimeter set to the diode position to individually check each of the 7 segments. Begin by connecting the positive terminal of the multimeter to one of the common pins and negative terminal to each of the other 7 segment pins one at a time. Step 4. LED Forward Bias Testing While checking each segment, observe the behavior of the LED inside their corresponding segment. Apply forward biasing by placing the multimeter testing probe in such a way that it positively biases the LED. Note the illumination of the segment. Reverse the probe's position to check the absence of glow, indicating reverse biasing and a non-illuminated LED. Step 5. Repeat procedure for other display type. Once the testing is completed for the identified display type, common anode or common cathode, Repeat the entire procedure for the other type of display to ensure the comprehensive testing and verification. Finally, summarize the results and confirm the type, common anode or common cathode of the 7 segment LED display based on the observations made during the testing procedure. This brings us to the end of this session. In this session, we have learned to test the common anode and common cathode of a 7 segment LED display. Thank you for watching. See you in the next session.